have a question about uh, Between Shades of Grey. Uh, that first chapter, you end it with uh, what's the value of a human life. How did you like find the emotions to put into that chapter to kind of um, help the readers like understand what the mother was experiencing in that moment? I know many historical authors, they, they research and then they write. What I do is I research and write simultaneously because when I'm interviewing a survivor, someone who has been condemned to death and survives, their testimony is so chilling, it's so full of emotion that I fear if I write it all down and put it aside, when I go to write, I won't have that emotional immediacy. So I write at the same time and there was a woman who was sharing a story that they were at the train station and they were separating, you know, men from women and that she had a little brother. He was maybe six years old and they were going to take him and put him in the train car with the men and her mother was frantic and she pulled out this pocket watch that she had and the woman, as she was telling me the story, she was crying and she gripped my arm and she said, you know, have you ever wondered what a human life is worth? You know, that day my brother's was worth a pocket watch. I'm getting like all emotional. So, see? So, <laughs> how do I get it? That's how I get it. Like, it's real. And so I put it in the books. And the fact that you would bring up that line, it tells me like that, okay, that's how I've got to do it. I've got to research and write at the same time. Because, um, and then the other thing that's beautiful is that woman who told me the story, she also told me, don't bother because the world has forgotten us. Don't write this book, like you're wasting your time. No one cares. The book was published, and now it's published in 45 countries and 33 languages, including Lithuanian, and she read that line in the book. Her, coming from her voice, and she came to my book event in Lithuania and said, you heard me. Like, you really heard me. This is my line, you know? So in addition to, you know, putting my old boyfriends in my books, <laughs> no, I, I do, I do listen, and I, I take these notes. And so that's how I, they're not, it's not my story. Like, history writes my story. So I can't take credit for that. It was the woman who said that. That's awesome.